Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rekal Kadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered across the four winds. This is your fellow servant Malachi coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay camp right here in the heart of the belly of the beast. So here it is, I want to get into a lesson, all right? I want to get into a lesson of how in these end times, <clears throat> how it's going to take a lot of faith, all right, to really believe in this word, all right? As the scriptures said, all right, believe on every word, all right? Keep enduring until, until the end because it's going to take big faith because you're going to have to wait on the Lord. You can't deliver yourself out of whatever the Lord is going to put you through in these last days. All right. Every person has their own lot. All right. They got their own test and everything to see how much faith they're going to have to endure until Yahweh second coming. All right. So we're going to have to wait on the Lord in these days and trust and have everything, uh, all these scriptures, uh, 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 the knowledge, all the wisdom that you have attained for this truth for these last days, all right? That's what's going to be your light, all right? The Spirit's going to be helping you, all right? You're going to have the scriptures in your head, in your mind, all right? And the Lord is going to direct you, but you're going to have to have faith to believe and trust on everything that he said in this book, in these scriptures, all right? So therefore, we're going to wait on the Lord. So let's go ahead and get into some scriptures. Uh, it's the book of Psalms 25, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Unto thee, okay, Salakia, this is a, a Psalm of David. It says, A Psalm of David, this is Psalms 25, starting at verse 1. Unto thee, O Yahweh, do I lift up my soul? O my power, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Verse 3, yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. All right? It says, let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. So that's going to be likened unto your two-thirds. All right? The rest of these damn heathens out here. All right? This is the, uh, so like, this is David praying unto Yahweh, telling him, don't let his enemies triumph over him. All right. He's putting all his trust in you, in you. All right. In him. So All right. It says, don't let anyone that's waiting. The, hey, this is hey, this is a psalm of David. All right. He's saying, don't let anyone that wait on you be ashamed. Because even at that time, he, uh, 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 uh David, King David, he knew that you got to wait on the Lord on everything. All right, wait on the Lord on everything. Verse 4 it says, Show me thy ways, O Yahweh, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Let's read it again. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. All right, that's what we're doing right now. We're praying, uh, uh, fasting, we, we're reading on the scriptures, we're doing the work, you know, etc. You know, showing brotherly love, we're keeping the commandments to the best of our abilities. All right, so on and so forth. All right, so the Lord has led us into his truth. All right, and he's teaching us. It says, for thou art the power of my salvation. All right, it says, on thee do I wait all the day. All right. So King David knew that you got to uh you have to wait. All right. He is of the elect. All right. You have to wait. All right. We have to wait on the Lord, especially for the things that's getting ready to come. We got to wait on these prophecies. We got to wait. The Lord, hey, let's get that in, you know, I don't want to go off subject a little bit, but let me get that in uh what is that? Lock you. I think it's 
Yeah, Habakkuk 2 and 2. All right? Because the Lord is saying you got to wait. Verse 3. This is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. All right? So this kind of it goes right along with that you have to wait. All right? The Lord is telling you that it's coming for an appointed time. All right? It says, but the end it shall speak. So everything in this book is going to be speaking. It's going to be speaking so loud that you, 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 a, hey, it's going to be screaming in your damn ears. Especially for those who didn't wait. The ones who went out back and who got this truth and went back out there into the world, they didn't wait. So therefore, these scriptures, uh, so like these scriptures are going to be screaming in your damn ear. All right, especially at that time, verse three, again at the top, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. The Lord said you got to wait. Reads on. It says, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And at that time, it's not going to be tarrying. It's not going to be waiting. You didn't wait for it to come, and it ain't going to be waiting on you. All right? You're going to be wanting this shit to stop. That shit ain't going to wait. It's going to keep going. It's going to, man, hey, that shit going to speed up. All right, man, let's go back to the scriptures. All right? Because we got to wait on the Lord. But you got these people out here with the uh, the no fuck around crew. Guess what? Them, them, that's an example of not waiting. They got no faith. They want to take arms into their own hands. But the Lord telling us to wait. All right. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 31. Starting at verse 6. It says, Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. All right? So this scripture is likened to how Esau is about to come in like a flood. All right? The ones that didn't want to wait. This is what that flood is coming for them. All right? The Lord is telling you that the Lord, it's like the Lord is telling you that uh, he about to send Esau after the rest of these people, two thirds and you. All right. But you waited and you kept the patience while you was reading, studying, actually putting out exhortations, doing the work, being brotherly. The Lord's going to reward you for that. But the rest of everybody that did not wait and keep the patience, they wanted to keep having fun. They couldn't wait for it. They going to perish. All right. So it says, be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. This is when Esau is getting ready to come in like a flood, especially to the uh, men of the Lord. Second Ezra 16 says a great insurrection. Uh, 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 those that fear the Lord. Hold on. So like, let me get that. I'm butchering the scripture. All right. It's the book of second Ezra. Mm, so lucky. Second Ezra 16 and 70. It says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right? So it's coming against the elect men. All right? Then shall it be known who are my chosen. All right? Those are going to be the ones that waited. But the rest of the other people, man, hey, they didn't wait. All right. If they're not of the elect, they did not wait. All right. So Deuteronomy 31 and 6 again. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, not, so like a fear not, nor be afraid of them. So that's Esau when he comes in like a flood. It says, For Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, thy power, he it is that doeth go with thee, he will not fear. Fail thee, nor forsake thee. So you always got to remember scriptures like this, that the Lord is not going to leave you in a time of trouble. All right? 
to where you're just going to stay there and, and, you, and you die. King David was uh, able to uh, uh, be able to um, write these songs because the Lord has delivered him. All right. Such as he's about to deliver the elect in these last days because they waited on him. Just like King David, he waited on the Lord. He prayed. All right. And he waited on the Lord. And that's what we're going to be doing in these last days. <clears throat> but the rest of these people that didn't wait, they lost. They lost out. All right. So let's, oh, let's get that in um, Syrah too. That, that goes right along with it too. So this is the book of Syrah, chapter 2, verse 2. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right, so when the time of trouble come, all right, don't be ready to haste. All right, the Lord is going to be right to, uh, be right there to protect you. All right, get your heart right. All right, get it right right now. And in these end times, it's going you're going to make it the, you're going to want it to be uh your heart to be right with the Lord at that time. All right? It said and depart not away. You're not going to depart not away from the Lord. All right, in the in, in the end times, you're gonna cleave even closer and closer to him. All right, it says, uh, set thine heart aright and constantly endure, all right, and make not haste in time of trouble. All right, don't uh uh uh, uh what you call it, make haste in time of trouble, all right, because the Lord, He's gonna be with you. You just gotta stay patient, all right, and wait. So let's get this in uh, Psalms 130. <clears throat> it's the book of Psalms 130 and 5. It says, ooh. Yeah, it says, I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait. And in his word do I hope. All right, so the elect, they're going to have to hope in his word. Hope in everything that the Lord has said. All right. That's them keeping that patience and them waiting. All right. It goes uh, verse six. My soul waited for Yahweh more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. All right. So this psalm is like unto uh, uh, the elect, all right? The soul is waiting for the Lord so much, all right, that they put everything on the line. They gave up everything. They made the life a uh, living sacrifice. They forgot and they forsook everything, all right? Like King David said, he doesn't want to be ashamed. All right. The Lord said we're not going to be ashamed in these last days. Everybody's going to see it. It's not going to matter. All right. We wait on the Lord before we, we even thinking about tomorrow. You, are, you got people that wait up in, in the nighttime. They just want to wait for the morning to come up. Man, we man, we, look, we waiting for the kingdom yesterday, man. We trying to keep we try to keep it going. All right. We want to get out of this uh, flesh. We want to get out of this damn age, this place. All right, everything is filthy. All right, but in the meantime, we got to deal with it all. Uh, deal with all the bullshit. All right, while we wait, and while we wait, our faith grows more and more and more. But you got more demons and stuff that come on you more and more. All right, trying to take you out of this truth. All right, but they let they're gonna they're gonna make it through. All right. So let's jump to uh, Wisdom of Solomon. All right. Because the people, they're going to see it. All right. They got, they, hey, everyone that, that, uh, they, uh, they laughed at us, scorned at us. All the words that we've been saying, telling them that the Lord is coming. All right. He coming in a, uh, so-called UFO. All right. That he about to come get us. We about, he going to beam us up. They laughing, scorning, scoffing. They don't believe they got no faith. The Lord said you got to have uh, what? Uh, a, a, a mustard seed. These people don't even got no faith to believe that they're the chariot. They got no faith to believe that they can del uh, get delivered. 
They got no faith in thinking that this place is going to get destroyed. They love Babylon so much that they forsook everything. All right? They forsook the Lord, and the Lord's going to forsake them in these last days. All right? They're going to be trying to call on them. It ain't going to matter. It's because they did not wait. So let's get this in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, starting at verse 2. When they see it, that's these people, the two-thirds, the people that scoffed and laughed at you. It says, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. So who is that he? That's Israel. That's the elect. All right? They're going to be amazed at the strangeness of the salvation of of his salvation, all right? Something that they never even thought about. They didn't have the faith, all right? The two-thirds is going to see it, and we've been telling them. They don't heard it. they seen the flyer. they seen the pictures, all right? You got Yahweh Shah. You got all, you just type in Yahweh Shah on the Google, uh, uh, just anywhere on Google, you're going to see his face pop up. Him riding on the horse, him riding on the chair. You got the brothers making different art pictures, all right? They don't believe. All right? They can't see it. Then the people that we told them all this, and in that time, they're going to be like, I should have waited. All right? They didn't wait. Verse 3, it says, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this is he whom we had in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. That's how they look at you. All right. This is how everybody in the world look at you. They think that you're crazy. They think that you're stupid, that you're slow. I mean, hey, they just don't wonder why you can't get how uh, everyone else is out here in the world. All right, they can't get it. Verse uh, four, it says, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he number among the children of the most high and his lot is among the saints? All right, they don't believe that you uh, are of the hopeful elect. They don't believe that you're going to get saved. They don't believe any of the words that come out of your mouth. All right. They can't, they couldn't, they couldn't have the patience. They didn't have the faith and they didn't, obviously they didn't wait, especially if they would have heard it. They so much in a rush, they forgot to hear the word. They didn't wait. Rushing, rushing, being a busybody, like, hey, they didn't wait. So therefore they're going to be saying all these things. It says, verse six, therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness hath not shined unto us. And the son of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of the wickedness and destruction. All right? This is what all they've been doing. Destruction. All right? Killing their own souls, man. They don't even know what the fuck they're doing. Don't know what's going on. It says, yea, we have gone through deserts where they lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What has pride profited us or what good has riches with our vaunting brought us? It brought you nothing but shame, being confounded, seeing everything that the prophets was talking about. Everything that they were saying that they thought that they was going to be out this uh, without this honor. That's the same thing happened back to their ass. That's the Lord swinging that sword right back at them. All right. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. That's what we're going to be telling their ass, man. Y'all some fucking fools. All right. We thought, man, y'all, y'all fucking crazy. Y'all can't get this. Man, y'all end is going to be without honor. Y'all just going to die in these nuclear ICBM missiles. Because y'all didn't want to listen. Y'all didn't want to have the faith. And guess what? Most of all, y'all couldn't wait. All right? That's what's getting ready to happen to the two-thirds. Because they did not wait. 
All right. So now when we come to the elect, they're going to receive Lord willing, if they are of the elect. All right. Everything written in this book, all the blessings. All right. All how they're going to rule the earth. The, uh, uh, everything, man, it, it goes into so much. It goes so deep. The Lord's getting ready to give you everything. Everything that you can think of. Anything that you think of in righteousness. Let me say that better. Anything. You connected to the very source. So that's something to think about, brothers. So Lord, when this lesson was edifying to you, Akimah and uh, Akwatium. All right. Always remember, man, we got to wait on the Lord. The Lord wants us to wait on him, not to take up no arms. None of that. Just focus on the scriptures. Focus on the task at hand. And that's for us and the uh, Salaki, for the uh, elect. All right. It's for the elect. We're not laboring for ourselves. We're laboring for the elect that they get saved. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim. And Akwathia. This is the brother Malachiah. Shalom.